So hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video we will cover the lab that is answering complex question using native derived tables in LookML. So first of all click on start lab and open the looker in incognito window. Now if you are new to this channel like the video and subscribe the channel for more such amazing lab tutorials and updates. Now here basically follow the way I am doing so that you get full score without any issue. Because some of you were complaining that the all tutorial was not working. It was definitely working but here I have added some more details in this video. So make sure to watch it completely so that you don't face any important update. So now here basically we have to enter the email and password which are present on the looker lab. So where you will find the looker lab you have to go to the lab instruction like this and paste it and copy the password and just paste over here and log in. Now lot of you guys are asking detailed explanation. So here is the detailed explanation for this particular lab. So let's complete it together. Also if you want to complete skill badges you can check the description of this video and complete accordingly. Now the main thing is that here we have to enable the development mode. Otherwise if you fail to enable it you won't be able to modify any looker file or create or deploy. So here just follow the way I am doing. First of all wait for the page to fully load. So finally it's loaded. Now here click on this toggle and the page will reload itself and it will show on the top that is you are in development mode. So now you have to copy this description box. Basically you have to copy this github URL from the description box and open your incognito tab where the looker is logged in. Now first of all we have to go to the develop quick labs e-commerce here we have to create a view that is name as brand and another thing we have to update the training e-commerce file. So let's complete it together wait for the page to fully load. Now here click on the views like this let me show you. Now here you can see three dots are there click on it. Click on create view and for the name you can check the lab also I have shared in the github repo just copy it like this. Paste over here and click on create. Now you have to just replace the entire content. You can use control A for selecting entire content and just backspace button. Now go to the github repo copy this from here paste over here and just click on save. So finally we have created a view and saved it. Now open the model named training underscore e-commerce. Now again control A and backspace. Now paste this query inside it. Now click on save changes. And finally we have to validate it. So click on validate lookml. It will take some time so wait for it. So now click on commit for commit message you can type anything I am typing like the video in case you haven't liked it yet. Also subscribe the channel too. Now click on commit and after that you have to just click on deploy to production. Now here lies the main step after this. This was very easy. Now we have to open looker in three tab. What do you have to do? You have to do like this. Open a new tab thrice. So what we have to do here we have to navigate to the order items and run the query. So click on explore wait for it to load. Now you have to just click on explore and then open the order items where the query will be running and here we have to set the pie chart and update the row limit and the row. So now go to explore and from here click on order items. Now go to the second tab explore order items again repeat the same explore order items so basically in three tabs this page will open here we will find three quick start first two three you have to click on first first of all and then we will do the next two so here only we have to update it to pie chart and this as you can see the brand order facts and named group we have to make it in ascending order and update the row limit so first of all the query is run. Wait for the query to run first of all. Now you have to just let me zoom in. You have to just click on it. It's now in descending order when you will click on it and you have to click on it again on this arrow 
it will be upside arrow now it's in ascending now the second thing is that we have to update the row limit we have to update the row limit to 10 so just type 10 this thing is have done you have added the pie chart now click on run after that we will save it so it will take few seconds the main thing is that many of you are facing issue on the task number one if you have followed the way i have done in this video you will definitely get the score so as you can see here is the look name also is there you can check it out so this part we have created view and here is this chart let me show you this chart we have done and run the query now for the name it will be ranked brand revenue this is our looker name so just click on this settings icon save save as a look and make sure there is no extra space or dot just save it now we have to go to the second tab open this and go to the third tab and open this now in these two queries you don't have to do anything because it will execute automatically and complete the task so only the first task was manual i hope you are understanding what i am trying to say and the mo most important thing is that if you have completed the way i have solved the lab you will definitely get the score still if you have any kind of doubts or queries you can check out the channel or just comment down on any video also make sure to refer that video if you are facing issue on another lab you should refer the lab name and gsp number so that i can check it because it will become very difficult to me to navigate now wait for the query to run and in case you haven't subscribed to the channel still now subscribe it also share among your communities and friends so finally the query has been loaded and as you can see the visualization is showing in this third visualization is map type and for second one it is bar type so as you can see here is the graph now when you hit check my progress you won't get full score and many of you are getting this kind of error i have seen i have received many kind of feedbacks and comments that many of you are facing this kind of error this happened because many of you haven't watched the video carefully and one more important thing is that this lab takes time to update the score so you need to wait for it and you are just trying to complete lab within seconds this is not possible as per legal method so just follow the traditional method and try to understand what's going on each lab as you can see on the last task we got the score now also you can see for the first task also we have got the score and it may take time for you uh, sometimes so if you face issue just wait for four to five minutes and if this issue does not resolve under five under approx 20 minutes then you can end the lab and restart the lab